Hi guys, how you doing? In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about Ecamm Live and switching between scenes automatically. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, so here's a very short guide about how to scene switch using Ecamm Live. So we have our countdown timer here. Once this scene's over and the countdown timer has got to naught, I'd like it to go into our live. So I'm going to create a live here, a new scene. I'm going to call it live one. Right, so after this scene has played out for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, uh, maybe two or three songs, uh, I'd like a PayPal message to come up, maybe encouraging people to buy us a drink if they're enjoying the show. So we'll set a timer on this scene. Here's the time button. I'm sure you're aware of it, but here's a zoom anyway. Okay, so when we open this box, it's set at 10 minutes. So for this example, we'll use 10 minutes. Uh, you want to click go to next scene when finished because that's what we want to happen. We want it to move on to another scene after we've played a couple of songs. Um, and you're going to want to set the opacity. So using the colors, the colors tab here, which opens this colors box here. Um, you're going to want to set the opacity to naught because we don't want people to be able to see the timer. So the opacity is at naught. Uh, close that. We'll click add. So our timer has now come up, as you can see. If you want to move it around, which is probably a good idea, is just get it out of the way. You might want to set the opacity at ten percent or something like that, just so you can see where it is, rather than just hovering your mouse around. So there it is. So I've moved that into the corner. After ten minutes, that will move on to the next scene. So let's make that next scene. So I'm going to add a scene over here. I'm going to call it live two, and I'm just going to put PayPal after that. So let's add in the text. So when you open up, the opacity will still be set at null. So your color tab opens up this box again. So I'm going to close that up and then I'm going to type in the text. So Maybe we'll have, if you are enjoying the show, you can buy us a drink using the PayPal link in the video description. That's a pretty long message, so I'm going to take advantage of the feature uh, the Ecamm have introduced the scrolling ticker. So I'm going to select that. I'm also going to put a background. Obviously, you can change the color um, just by clicking here and, uh, you know, changing your blues, greens. So yeah, let's go with black. So I'll add that in. And as you can see, there's your scroll bar and it's scrolling across the bottom. I'm going to move that down to the very bottom. Now, I don't want this to stay on here too long. So we need to add in another timer to move into the next scene. So let's go down here again and use our timer option. And I think three minutes would probably be fine for this part. We can always throw another one in later. Go to next scene when finished. That's the important part. And then we want to get rid of the background. And we want to take the opacity again down to naught so you can't see it. And then we'll add that in and it's come up in the same sort of place. And again, if, you, uh, if you'd if you like to see it to move it around, just set the opacity to 10, 15 percent to start with. And then when you've moved it to where you'd like it, you can then go back and set it to naught. So then you just create another scene. And we'll call that live final scene and all that you do in this case is that you just let it roll into that fi live final scene but not set a timer so then uh, you're in control then of when you're finishing so that way you've uh, you can just end the broadcast as normal so that's basically that obviously you have the normal options that you'd have with creating scenes you can add some graphics in our case we often have some adverts so uh for example, after being live for 10 minutes or so, we could add a scene, just call it 
ads. And then we can just bring in the, the graphic for that scene. You guys, you guys have probably got this set up ready to go. Um, and the same thing again, you just add the timer in. So go down, hit your timer. Go to next scene when finished. It's the important part. Oh, I only want this to run for 30 seconds, if that. But we'll call it 30 for that now. And then again, the opacity is at naught. Just hide that there. And then so when you move into that scene, you're going to wait your 10 seconds. And then it will move on to the PayPal scene that we created a little bit earlier. Well, 10 seconds feels like a long time, right? Oh, that felt like an age, but there you go. That was 10 seconds. Hey guys, I hope you found that useful. In our next video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about set creation. So we're going to show you what we've done to create this set that you're looking at right now. We're going to talk about the lighting, talk about the ambient lighting. We're going to talk about the different focal points that we've put on the wall. We're going to talk a little bit about adding the warmth that you can see up here, keeping the set clean, even though there's a lot of equipment in front of me, you can't see any of it. So if you'd like to see that video, then please hit subscribe and you'll be able to see that very shortly. Thank you very much. Until next time.